It's snowing outside! So it hasn't snowed where I live for over a year. It probably snowed just a little bit, just like about an inch the whole year. And it was actually kind of sad, but now that we've got like eight inches of snow, it's awesome! Too bad I can't really play in it anymore. Unfortunately, I cannot fully enjoy this momentous occasion because my winter coat no longer fits. It's very small and for children. Oh yes, that reminds me, my dog is here. Darby. Hey. Hey. Darby. Darby, Darby, Darby. That's my dog. That's the top of my cat's head. So since I could not fully enjoy this momentous occasion, here's what I did instead. Because you're my friend. I want to get you saved. It wasn't a lot. Now I know what most of you are probably thinking. Bailey, you have a working car. Why don't you just take that somewhere? And you have a nice answer if I had a logical one. Aside from this, see that car coasting down my street? They're going down, like down the street. I'd have to go up the street. In my neighborhood, there's basically two hills and I'm at the bottom of where they both end up. I'm not risking that, especially not with an old car like mine. It's not old, it's actually just seven years old. I'm lazy, what can I say? That reminds me, when it first started snowing last night, it didn't snow at first, it started sleeting. Like, it was actually raining slush. And then, out of nowhere, it started thundering and lightning ning 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 whatever that word is. So it was really a snow thunder lightning storm. It was kind of cool. But, you know, I couldn't sleep because the, the dog was being loud and obnoxious. I'm looking at my dog, by the way. She's just laying there, being a dog, laying on my stuff. But yes, cool things happened. And apparently today is December 20th, which means tomorrow is the dreaded December 21st. I could care less. Honestly, in my entire life, from 1994 to now, I have experienced probably 14 possible end of the worlds. And I've lived through all of them. It started with Y2K, which for you youngins means year 2000. In the late, mid-1990s, people believed that all the computers in the world were programmed to just last until 1999. And once midnight hit on, the, on January 1st, 2000, all the computers would revert back to whatever year they were supposed to, and every computer in the world would freak out and shut down. Obviously that didn't happen because here we are, computers working, mine's working, and no cataclysmic computer event happened. I don't remember the next one. I remember 666 being a huge thing, June 6, 2006. It was actually the day, of, the last day of my sixth grade year. We all went to a pool and then went to a movies. It was raining that day. Supposedly that was the day that the son of Satan was born and then the world would end and fire would rain down from the clouds. Did it happen? It rained. Water from the sky. After that was July 7th, 2007, which apparently Jesus was supposed to come back because 777. I don't remember the ones after that, because really I stopped caring. But the one that I do remember was May 21st of last year, May 12th. All I remember is that it was during a convention. It was actually kind of funny, because apparently fire would rain down from the sky and the whole end of the world thing was supposed to happen. It didn't happen, and a lot of people didn't believe that would happen because most of the time it was just a bunch of nut jobs saying, Oh my god, my calculations will be correct! This is gonna happen this day! Oh, everybody panic! Run for your lives! Take your children! So that weekend we ended up going to Anime Central in Chicago, Illinois. And it was supposed to be that Saturday, so Friday everybody was partying it up. Or was it that Friday? I think it was one of those days. But people were walking around with signs saying, The end is nigh! Just for fun, I actually asked him, I was like, Are you serious about this? And the guy's like, No. I just like walking around in a suit and carrying signs that say the end is nigh. Alright. And then karaoke people were singing It's the End of the World as We Know It, which is an awesome song by the way. I have it on my iPod. Some jackass thought it would be funny 
to pull the alarm in the hotel. Of course, everybody, most everybody got out safely. No one died. I mean, of course, there were a couple people being stupid and pushing each other down the stairs. Some lady broke her leg. I don't know who it was, but I hope she's okay. Probably is. It's been a year. I was actually eating a bowl of ramen. It was kind of funny. I was just sitting there with my friend AJ, who is my, also my business partner, and we were just talking, and I was like, oh, so... Can you really stuff like a whole head down your boobs? When suddenly, who is that? Run, run you fools, it's the fire alarm. Is there a fire? I don't know, maybe, probably not. But you should probably go. That's really how it went, just me leaving with, with a cup of ramen and a spoon, trying to eat it all before I got outside so I could throw it away at the garbage. I went past the door. And I was still not done. Nothing happened. There was no fire. Just some drunk idiot wanted to pull the fire alarm. That was the extent of that cataclysmic event. Hooray. But according to a lot of people, December 21st, 2012 is meaning some big event where the, all the planets are supposed to align, which is going to be really cool, by the way, because supposedly the sun's going to align right up with the galaxy, and it's supposed to be very photogenic. I actually might go outside with my camera and take some pictures in the morning if it's not too cold. So really, I don't think anybody has anything to worry about. It's just gonna be a really cool event. It's just stuff. So anyways, let's get back to snow. So it was really nice and snowy outside, and I didn't really do much to, about it today. I didn't go outside and play. I did play a video game, though. Oh, I'm so, I'm so good at these. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. my addiction grows. So for those of you who live in the Midwest and who experienced this sudden snowstorm, how did you spend it today? What did you do? Where did you go? Did you end up shoveling your driveway? Or did you sled down the hill like a bolt of lightning streaking through this whiteness of being awesome? Or did you spend it like me and be super lazy? Tell me what you think. I'll see you guys after Christmas. Happy holidays and good luck surviving the end of the world. Adios. So I was gonna say something else intelligent, but I can't remember. I was gonna dance instead. I think that's how I'm gonna end all my videos now. Run for your lives! Take your children! Throw the dead ones in the river! Oh my god, that sounded awful.